think a pastor C. No, uh, th th this is HF. The, the light is instant because it's instead of lambda, I'll go for HF. Then photoelectron will be ejected. I come to the formula what we know. Uh, for, uh, shall I write one? One understood all of you? One means all switches are open. All right, I'll write it here. All switches are open. I'll come to the question 15, 16. First, let me define that conditions. Then I'll conclude what, are, what should be the answers here. So we know K max should be equal to HF minus the other work function. So what is HF should be equal to K max plus phi. Agree this? HF equal to uh, no. Uh, is, is writing this one. So when HF is zero, what should be the K max? K max is nothing but K max here. When HF is zero, what is K, K max? K max should be equal to, you know, so therefore what should be the E should be equal to? That E should be equal to the work function. So when HF zero, K max is what? Minus C. So therefore, E equal to phi. And the data is what I obtained because they have shown curve one. And let's come for next one. When only S1 and S2 are closed, the graph becomes two. I, I think here there is no cell no. So when the electron reaches the other plate also, it's like same k max because there is no potential difference across this because all the switches are open. So with what kind of KNG the electron is ejected with the same kind of KNG, you strike the other plate. I think we need not to bother that statement here when all switches are open. See this. When the electron reaches the opposite plate. Okay, come for now. When only switches when only when only S1, S2 are closed. S1, S2 are closed here. Now when S1 and S2 are closed, get the circuit diagram. So this will be the capacitor. This is a cell. S1 and S2 are closed what will happen to this capacitor the other capacitor will not come into picture I, i'll do one thing I'll, I'll give some name so that i can the capacitor b will not come into picture no only capacitor a will come into picture so here light is incident hf so this having a work function phi the <coughs> electron will be ejected with Kinetic energy say K. And now how the electric electrostatic field will be in this direction. By the time the electron reaches there, how much of kinetic energy it will have? K max. Able to understand the situation given there. So what is first K you can write it as? Or K max equal to Electrostatic force does positive work, no? K max is equal to K plus work done by electrostatic force. So what is the potential? This is V, no? E into V. So further, what is K? K should be equal to HF minus work function. Okay, this much is what? The equation I brought it. Uh, we know work function should be equal to E from graph 2. Look at the graph 2. what we can write it from graph to when k max is zero hf will be zero so what is this the work function equal to e into the applied potential difference now for, further what is what is work function Th this we, we wrote capital e no so therefore 
So what is the value of EV? Value of EV should be equal to capital E. There's an option we pick up. What is the value of E1 is telling? So look at the graph three. So for the graph three, again, what is the condition? So first we'll write it. When only S3 and S4 are closed, S3 and S4. So we should draw the suitable circuit here. I think uh, anybody can solve this product if you draw a diagram and you should have patience. That, that's what I feel. Third one, S3 and S4 are closed. Now there are two capacitors are there. No? So if I draw this circuit, it will be And the light is incident at this particular point. There's a capacitor A, there's a capacitor B. And both are having same capacitance and there's a potential V. <coughs> so what all the applied potential difference? V by two. V by two. And this will be positive negative. And there's a work function phi. Ejected electron will have kinetic energy. Okay, by the time it reaches here, and now in this case, what will happen to electron? Our electrostatic force will be towards right now. So the electrostatic force here will be in this direction, if, if, uh, not needed. Or if you want, you write it. I'll show that one. Now the electrostatic force here will be in this direction. A same E bar? No, no. The value of E is asking now. No, E1, E2. So what is E1 from where we have to bring it? That E1 is what? In the expression we have to search it, no? What is that E1 is telling? So I need not to show that. Some of you are asking, sir, what is E here? Okay, this one. I'll just remove that symbol. Just what, what that arrow indicates? Direction of field here. Let's get into the writing equation now. So by the time electron reaches here, it will have K max here. Uh, no. So what is the equation? First, K, K max, you write it. What is K max is equal to? K, electrostatic force does negative work. How, how we can say, look at the arrow. What is that blue color arrow indicates? Direction of field here. So the electron will expense force opposite to that. So therefore minus E into V by two. Why V by two? What is the potential difference? Because both are having same capacitance. So E V by two. Now further, this is H F minus phi minus E V by two. Let's put uh, what is a value of uh, when H F when K max zero. H F is even no. Now what is value of phi? Phi should be E. What is value of E? should be e by 2. So therefore, what is e1 equal to? 3e by 2. The application of photoelectric effect can come like this. <laughs> Just the field how the direction of field between the plates, that is what you have to make observation, nothing big. And the work done. Kinetic energy increases, the electrostatic force there does positive work. Kinetic energy decreases, 
the L twelve thirty four does negative work, and always photoelectric effect is what I think the concept of photoelectric effect is only this much no. K is equal to